All right, so hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing great. And today's video, we are going to talk about how we can create a little scene where this little boy is like running on the road. So how we can create this? So in this video, we're going to learn. So without any further delay, now let's get started tutorial. So first of all, guys, right now on my screen, you can see we have a one city scene here. You can see we have a little city. And uh, also we have a one guy, this name is Ryder, all right. And the good thing about guys, we have a all pre-made actions of this guy. Basically, let me show you first of all. I mean, just go on my NLA editor, action editor. Now here you can see, you have since going to click this all the selected option. Now we have a, all the actions of this guy. Like if I want, you should be like uh, walk so he will walk like oh my god this is something nice by the way if we want he should be he should run basically so he will run by well wait a second i'm gonna show you so now here depends he is running very nicely okay so the thing is that basically what if i want this guy should be walk first of all on the road then he should run also so how we can combine all those animation and also with this uh, scene so it should look mm, bit natural also so in this video i'm gonna show you so without any further delay now let's get start the tutorial so first of all i'm just gonna check first of all either his feet like touching the ground or not if not so we have to like fix his feet first of all then we have to select shift s cursor to select it so i all our uh, cursor will be the like in between his leg and I'm also going to like enable the shortcut VR so you guys easily can see which key I'm placing all right that's so awesome by the way now first of all what we have to decide it we have to see where he should walk so I walk he should walk like this and that so how we can do that for this I'm just gonna add one uh, like curve yeah we can also add the path we don't have any issue we can use anything and I'm just going to scale it a little bit, something like that. And here you can see this is the path which is we have added. All right. And we can apply the scale also. Then I'm just going to edit more pressing the tab and I'm just going to select all these parts, vertices. And I'm just going to move it a little bit. All right. It is awesome. Fine. I'm just going to select this one and I'm just going to move it a little bit. Okay. Something like that. And what I will do basically, I'm just going to select both of the vertices because I need one vertex in between of two. So I will just do subdivide. Wait a second. Select both of them. Right click and subdivide. Like we have one vertices also. So what will happen? So it will give us a good cog basically that will look more natural. Now I'm just going to move it a little bit. Something like that. I know something like that also. Okay. Everything is looking nice by the way. Okay. Wait a sec. Change. Okay. And then I'm just going to. Okay. Then I'm just going to extrude it. Pressing the Y axis. So like what I want. I just want he should to move from here to here. And like something like that. Then again, I'm just going to press the E and then extrude something like that. I think we have a good curve here. Yeah, that's so awesome. You can use like gray scale mode also for seeing all those things. But uh, in the gray scale, we can't able to see the texture. So we need to just enable the texture option. Still, we are not able to find it. So we need to go to the texture mode also. So like uh, material preview. All right. So the, yeah, I think that is enough. So what I want basically, I just want he should walk from here to here. Okay. So this will be the basic animation. So from here to here, he will walk. And then after that, he will run. Then again, he will stop it. All right. So let's start it. So first of all, we need to do some fixes here. Like what kind of fixes we have to do it. First of all, we have to just go to edit mode of this. But we can say... Um, this path and make sure that uh, what we can say that origin point should be the exactly center of this boy so and also we have to go to the edit mode of this path 
and after that we have to just check the normals handles where it is following by the way if it will be like a negative direction so we need to uh, switch from the here like switch direction all right it should be always in the right path yeah, according to like what kind of uh, direction you want basically so right now as per my requirement this direction is fair enough so i am quite satisfied with this direction also and one more thing i'm just going to do it here basically what i will do i'm just going to increase the resolution so we get the good and smooth curve here all that so everything looking good to go now what we will do first of all i'm just going to select my character empty and i'll just go to my constrainer tab and here i'm just going to add the uh what we can say follow path constrainer on that and what this constrainer exactly does basically it will like ask her uh, ask us like what is the target so i will tell you this is the no path which is our target and once you will just add the target here you can see our boy is like go away from your uh, their origin point so what we have to do it for this basically you don't need to panic about it and worry about it also you need to just go to your uh, side panel and go to your item section and here you need to just select all location transform tool and just do it zero all of them now here you can see you will see your uh, character will be exactly come back their original position and you can see the last position okay then right now we can see our character is not exactly following our path here you can see our path direction is on the right hand side but he is looking in like something in a front so first of all we need to fix the position then we have to just click the follow curve and now here you can see it is like opposite direction of our rear direction so we need to just switch the y positive to the y negative now here you can see it is perfectly following our path now here you can see if i'm just going to what we can say i'm just going to move it here you can see it is moving perfectly and following the path as well let me sh show you here you can see it is following the path very nicely now here you can see all 90% work is done now what i will do basically first of all i'll just add the animation so what i will do basically i'm just going to animate this path i'll just set the keyframe into the first frame okay then i'll just go to my 190 approx then i'm just going to hit like increase the slider offset value is like almost full okay let's see how much speed is this looking by the way so i think that the speed is too much so we need to like decrease the speed and we'll just keep it uh, like zero to 250 i think that is also too much speed i'm just going to increase the frame rate around the 500 and then i'm just going to select my uh frame and i'm just going to move it over the 500 then I think everything is good to go. All right, then I'm just going to select and do T and do linear. So what will happen basically, the speed of this animation will be constant and looking nice by the way. After that, what I will do, I'm just going to, what we can say. Okay, so first of all, what I will do, I'm just going to right click and do track ordering to the top. Here you can see we have a now walking position in the top. And now here you can see it is working very nicely but here you can see after the 24th frame it is like stop working because we don't have a uh, much animation after the 24th frame so what we have to do basically first of all we have to increase the frames and the action clip clip basically so for that we have to go to the action clip and we have to increase the amount as much as we can reach All right, I think that is enough. 240 till the 240, we will walk. Okay, now here you can see he is walking very, very, very nicely. Oh my God, I'll show you. Or I'll just add the camera also. So what I will do basically, I'll just add one camera. I'll just press a shift A, adding the camera, do control zero. Then I'll just go to my camera view, set a camera according to the character. Now you, you can see that your, your, whatever view you, you're fitting, nice platinum. Okay, it is look nice. Okay, and uh, one more thing I will do it basically. First of all, I'm just going to parent this uh, camera to my empty uh, so it will follow and it will go along with this empty as well. So now here you can see 
he is walking very, very nicely. One more thing we can do it basically with again select our camera and go to the camera settings and report display, increase the pathway out. Now everything is looking very good to go. And one more thing, which is I feel little uh, like we need to move this up little bit. So, okay, I think everything is looking nice. Okay. But now here you can see guys, he's walking very, very nicely. Oh my God. Okay. So this is our first animation and it is looking nice by the beam. Now after reaching here, like where? I'll show you. Like uh, after reaching the, the like 240 frame, T will run. Okay. So for that, what I will do basically, first of all, I find the run uh, action. Okay, and we have to see where is the run action basically. This is the run action. Okay, and then just move this run action uh, like over. Wait a second. Right click and do step top. Okay, everything is look nice. Then I'm just going to move it and keep this with this. Uh, I don't down to the hill. Okay, then here you can see after that he will run. But now here you can see you are seeing. Little jerk here, you can see. This is a little jerk in between the two frames. So for that, you can use the, what we can see. First of all, move this one now, let's decrease it. I'll just set, bend the peak. Then I'll move it and keep it here. And I'll just to go to the blank out, increase a little bit bend out. And for the run, I will increase the blend in. Now here you can see the jerk will not look exactly which is working before. Yeah, here you can see it is looking nice, perfect. Now he's ready to run by the way. So I will also increase the run animation till the end of this print. So I'm just going to repeat it, something like that. So now what will happen, you can see here by the way. I will uh, like uh, play the animation from the beginning. Wait a second. Let me show you. So yeah, this is the animation. And he's walking very nicely, enjoying the view, enjoying the weather. And suddenly he remember he didn't complete the home world. Oh my God, I have to reach the home because I didn't complete my home world. Yeah, so this is how you can like combine the two animation along with this curve, along with the path. And uh, this is very easy and cool trick. So I thought I should share with you guys. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and learn something new. So thanks for watching this video, guys. And if you learn something new, please hit the like button, the share button, and subscribe button. And also, if you have any queries of your conversation, please let me know in the comment box. I'll definitely reply comment. So bye-bye, take care, and stay home, guys. And love you all.